Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I rent this house. It's a very simple process. So what I, what I did on this is just very simple. Uh, the hat itself, I everything is in layers, different layers from the head, uh, the head, the eyes, uh, the body shape, and the legs. Everything is in different layers, so as you can see right here, everything from the antenna, you can see I I drew them separately in different layers, just to make it um, very easy to to read and to animate, so we can have controls over over this character. So everything was. Everything was drawn in different layers. So now, I'm just trying to show you guys that everything is in different layers, so you can get the idea. Just to show you that this is a, these are in different different layers. So now, what we we'll do, what we're going to do first is uh, try to group. Uh, Try to group the old, the layer into one folder. So we we'll have to select what I'm doing. I'm going to right now is just select all these folders. All these folders, just select them. So let's select all these layers. So it has let me was my pressing um shift. Just shifts, so you can select all by clicking on shift, all the all the shift button. So now you right click, then you go to group selection. Go, oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. So go to group with selection. So now we've created a group. So what I will do next is rename. The rename it search group. So now we right click again that will convert to switch to bots. So now we can start rigging. So to rig is very simple. Now let's create the master board. So let's start rigging from the neck. Why I'm rigging from the neck is that uh, um, it's going to give us control over the head so that we can move the head freely without having any issues. So now, now let's start rigging from the head, from the neck to the head. So what I'll do now is I'll now start from the neck. So I'll make sure I select the point is selected. So I'll not I'll not continue like that. So yeah, so that's it. Now that we are done with the uh, with the body, now let's start. Uh, let's start with the antenna. So the first thing we do is make sure uh, the head joint is selected. That's the point. So what you do is. Make sure the this point is selected. That's the point that is controlling the head is selected. So now starts select one. So the same process for the other antenna. I'll make sure I select this point as well again. That's the point controlling the head. So. So the major reason why we do that is just that so the head can control the antenna. So we are parenting it to the, we are parenting those bones to the head bone. So now let's go for the legs now. So 
there are times I have to, you have to like, um, hide, uh, I have to hide the body parts so that I can see what I'm going to read. So now I'll just try and hide it. So, so just as the same process, so you make sure the bone controlling the upper body part is selected. So before creating a bone for the legs. So now, okay. So let's start cutting the bones right now. So the same thing for the other leg. So make sure that bone is selected. So before creating the bones for the other leg. So let's, once we're done with that, let's go for the other body part as well. So I'll click on this and hide it so that we can see. So we'll just continue from here, make sure we select that, um, that bone. Okay, let me, let me remove this so that we can see what I'm trying to read now, so that we can see it clearly. I'll still have to remove this as well, so I can see the first bone. So now it's easy to read now. So I'll have to select that bone. So I'll select. You will put the same process for the other legs as well. So once we've done with this, and we have to create for the other leg as well. So now let's, once I've worked, okay, now let's read the other leg as well. I should don't, for, don't forget, just make sure that bone, that body that's going to control those legs is selected like that. Then you start creating, start creating the bones again. So. Let me zoom out. I'm not going to fast forward this process because of uh, the new viewers trying to understand how to read. So, so I select the bonds, the bottom. Point. So now I have to create uh, a week for the other let the bad backlet as well. So now let's start creating just for the same process.
So now we are done with um, the reading. So now let's uh, let's turn on the, the body parts as well. Yeah. So now that we have done, we are done. The next thing we do now is uh, try and uh, reduce the bone strength. So I'm going to work on the bone strength now. So what I'll do first is this. I let me let's reduce the bone strength for the uh, the general controller as uh, this the first one first created as the master bone. Let's reduce uh, the the strength to zero. So now let's reduce the strength to zero. So now I'll select the bones generally. So now I'll have to reduce the strength to point, point 10. So now that will reduce the strength. You can see now I can lift the characters. But what we have to do now, we have to bind. We have to bind this bones to layer. So what we're going to do now is start uh, start by binding. So to bind now, what you do is you make sure you select the bone. I'm coming uh, okay. So I will select a bone. Let's select the head bone. Then I'll alt right click on the layer. Like uh, you can see the highlight there. So I'll not press Control shift s you can see the changes now so i'll do the same thing for the eyes now so i'll alt right click then Control shift s and you see you see the strength of the bone now so now we do the same thing for the antenna as well i would uh alt right click then Control shift s so for the other layer so this is what we do for the other parts. So by first of all, you select your bone, then Alt right click to select the layer, then Control Shift S to bind. So now let's bind the head and the antenna. Then we'll go for the body as well now. So let's start with the body, the neck. So I'll click. Alt, right click, Ctrl Shift S. Yes, that's it. So just continue like that for the parts. So I'll I'll click for the body, upper body. Now Ctrl Shift S. We see the changes. So same for this as well. So we're going to be doing this, we're going to be repeating this process for each bone. So I select the, bot the bottom as well. You can see. So now we'll go for the for the hands now. So to make it more easier to but I have to remove to a check. So that okay. 
So just repeat the same process for every part of the body. So just try to repeat the same process for everything. I don't want to skip this tutorial because of uh, because of uh, beginners, so that they will understand this thing takes patience. I hope you get the idea now. So, once we're done with this now, once we're done with the five into layers, so the next thing we do is try to test, test the joints. Is uh, the character if it's working perfectly? Then before we go to the next step. So now that we're done, let's let's try and test um see what we have really done. So I'll click on the Z so I can see. Okay. We'll fix this. We'll fix it by referencing to the to the to the other bones. So what I'll do now is just click on then I go to repairant. I have to repair the back. Yeah. So 
So now let's try and test the app. So we can start testing the joints. You can see everything works fine. Everything works fine. Good. This is nice. So we have control over the head now. The patterns are working fine. This is good. So what we're going to do now is try to create a retarded one for the legs. So we have more control over our our hands. So we can make it more unique and dynamic. So let's let's create points. Let's create some points now. So all we do is let's put the ball, this, just follow the steps, make sure this was selected. How to adjust this ball? So let's quit ball. Just want to be adjust this one as well. Yeah. So, what we're going to do next now is So what I'll do now is I'll click on this point I'll first click on this. 
I'll check. So I'll click on this point row. And I go to targets. And I look for the point we created. So we created in a target point right now. So we're going to do this this the same thing for all the points as well. So that should be 34. Okay. So I'll click on this to go the the point number. So like that, I'll click. So we'll just repeat the same step for the other ones as well. Yeah. Now that we're done, let's test our bone. Let's see how it works now. Uh, first, I have to reduce um, the bone strength for the new bones. So I have to, I have to reduce the strength to zero. So I have to select. So now I select the bone. Holding down my control, start selecting. So we go to both strength, and I have to reduce the strength. So zero. So now let's test. So you can see the results. You can select the bone and start animating, you can see. You can select each bone and start moving it. So it's very easy. Just depend on what you're trying to achieve. I'm going to start to show you how I could I read this uh, hand, which is very simple to read. Just follow some simple process. Okay, it doesn't have a year. I have to fix this. I have to fix this. There's a curtain issue yet. So I'll click on after book for so it's the other one. I have to click on the other one. So we can I can remove this um, arm. So I don't want to be print to it, print to anything that's so I click on target and I click on it. That's up, that's it. So it's not connected to any any point. So now I can move these points individually now. I hope you guys get this idea. This is just how I read this uh ants. So we can start animating. Just uh, what you want to achieve. Let's spend on what you achieve. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So, thank you guys.